Hi, everybody. I just wanted to let you know that this episode of Darkest Dungeon was recorded when I was not in the best place mentally, and I will apologize for its content. This is a thing that happens from, to me from time to time. So mental health is an extremely important thing, and you should take that and mental illness very seriously. That's all I got. Thanks for listening, and I hope you can take some enjoyment out of this episode. Welcome back to more of the Gaming Mind with Samuel Bam Let's Play of Darkest Dungeon. To you, no time will have passed, or the usual amount of time will have passed, between episodes. For me, it's been about three weeks since the last time I played this game. I think it's just kind of... I've been enjoying Legend of Keepers a lot, to the point where I kind of am neglecting Darkest Dungeon, although I don't know if I want to necessarily call it neglecting, because I know we're near the end game, but it's just kind of like... I know I should push for the final stretch, but on the other hand, I should never feel pressure to finish a game. Nor should you, by the way. If you're not enjoying a game, you don't have to finish it, even if you've put, you know, 60 hours into it or whatever. I'm not saying I'm not going to finish the game. I'm just saying neither I nor you should feel pressure to finish a game if you're not enjoying it. <coughs> Sorry. Anyway, speaking of not enjoying things, I'm going into the cove with the specific purpose of, well, two specific purposes. One is to level up our highwaymen here, and the other is to hopefully finish off or get very close to finishing off the Shieldbreaker Nightmares. So, we're bringing in our man-at-arms, who I've given the Ancestor's Candle and the Ancestor's Lantern to. That seems bad because, yeah, that means a lot of stress, but I also have Bolster, which lowers stress, so it's not that bad. We have our... Shieldbreaker, who have the Spectral Spear Tip and the Siren's Conch. Again, specifically to lower stress if and hopefully when we get into a nightmare. We have our Highwayman with the uh, Fuseman's Matchstick and the Flesh's Heart. Admittedly, I gave him this before I leveled up his armor to rank 5, so I probably don't need to give him that, but I didn't know what else to give him. We have a Vestal with Sacred Scroll and Wilbur's Flag. Obviously, I'm not going to try to do a Vestal in the second row thing, especially if I'm bringing a Shieldbreaker, because people are going to be moving around a bunch. So I'd rather just kind of stick with the sort of stereotypical um, stereotypical build for a Vestal. We are going into a long quest, but it's good because I'm getting an Ancestor's Trinket, the Ancestor's Pen, which is okay. And really the main reason why is to get a whole bunch of portraits, because... I do want to use that one blueprint that requires like a hundred portraits. So it's going to be a little while before we get there. And this is explore 90% of rooms, so we're going to be in here for a good long while. I should probably bring more than one stack of shovels knowing the cove. Let's just get a full stack of each of these for the moment. Holy water, I guess I can take those. Uh, how many stacks of torches do I want to bring? I don't know. I, th I know 16 is not enough. Bring 20, and I'll just bring the extra stack of shovels, just in case. And I know that means I have zero space in my inventory right at the start. I don't know. Maybe I should just camp right at the very beginning and just be like, don't care. I need space in my inventory. I might just do that just to see if I can get a Shieldbreaker Nightmare out of the way, like, immediately. If I can, that'd be great. I'd also get some nice benefits for at least the next four combats. Knowing this is a 90% of rooms long dungeon, this is going to be, this is probably going to be a two episode uh, dungeon. I'm just guessing. So just giving you fair warning on that one. If the game will load, that'd be nice. The game is, I'll admit, when I loaded up this game earlier to see like, what was I doing before? And it took like a really long time to load. And it's taken a really long time to load today, or right now also. So I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know if it's just my computer is, you know, finally completely showing its age and being uninterested in, like, letting me do stuff. Oh, there it is, finally. The smell of rotting fish <laughs> nice scout at the start. Unbearable. That's great. So if I wanted to camp right now, I would lose those benefits within like the next two corridors. So not great. Also, yikes, this map is terrifying. Okay, so I guess what we're gonna do, I'll probably, we'll go up. 
unless there's something sp particularly interesting in this top left room, I'll probably just skip that one. Then what I'll probably do, ugh, there's two long backtracking things. So we go up and then we'll just kind of go uh, right down. And we could go like that and then back up and then down. Okay, that might work. That's not very much backtracking. It's not a horrible amount of backtracking. Okay, so there are three fights in a very short amount of time, and I do not like this at all. Our light's fine, though, so... Alright. So, let's start with a tracking shot. Just to get that buff. And bolster. I'm a little... Why is my shield breaker going last? I don't get that at all. I kind of figured that was going to resist. That's fine. Okay. Get rid of one of the snails. That's that's fantastic. Right from the start. God, that does so much damage. Why do you do so much damage? I don't like that. Okay. Debuff resist is great. What do I want to do here? I guess we'll just retribute, I suppose. Uh, since I'm using the Fuseman's matchstick, I'd rather use the pistol shot. Really? Okay, fine, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna try an Adder's Kiss on this thing. What's its Blight Resist? Uh, it's pretty low. I should get that with Blight, I think, right? What was it Blighted for? Okay, perfect. Blighted for five. Wonderful. Let's heal you up. Okay, good. And this thing is actually closer to death already than I th was expecting it to be, so that's fine. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I should have gone for the stun. This is 90% stun resist. Maybe I should have, but oh well, too late for that. Okay. Cool. <laughs> well, I can take the money. I'll take the money. I don't have space for anything else. All right, what is coming up here? Of course it's a fish carcass, so I have no space. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to, maybe I should have, uh, I was gonna say maybe I should have used a bandage. Why is that thing in the third row? What? Why? <laughs> what are you doing to me? Okay, cool. Unnecessary, but thank you anyway. Okay, good. We got rid of the biggest threat. Bolster. And we can track to actually remove that thing's stealth, which is pretty good, I would say. That's not good. I don't want her taking a lot of stress right now. She's going to be taking a lot of stress when we sleep. So I can break guard on that thing. I will do as soon as I get a chance to do anything. That's not good. We're, instead of breaking guard, we're killing this thing. We can't leave that alive. It's going to do 80,000 damage to us with any hit it does. I should probably not have even done that. Too late. Here we go. Oh, God, that dodge was lucky. Okay. Good. Okay. The biggest danger is gone. Let's heal you up again. That crit's not nice, dude. Jeez. Oh, okay. Okay. You're... Are you still protected? You are. Okay. Well, then I'll just grape shot. Whatever. Doesn't do much, but it does something. Okay, I'm gonna stun this guy? Or try to stun it anyway, I guess. That's fine. Okay. Now what do I want to do? That's the real question. If I pull this thing... F mm, no, I don't want to pull this thing forward. Let's just pierce. That's pretty good. Okay, we need to heal you. Okay. You're gonna heal. 
Yeah, great. Prolong the battle even more. Ah, wonderful. Okay, just keep this going, I guess. I'm just gonna keep piercing, because that's the best option we've got right now. Especially with the crits. Okay, let's heal everyone. I don't know if I needed to do that, if we're gonna camp, like, right after this. That's two crits in a row from you. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Stop it. Game. Stop it. Alright. No scout. We're gonna camp anyway. I'm taking the crests. We're gonna eat. I'm gonna leave the rest of the stuff behind. I'm not worried about it. Okay. Start with bandit tents, even though I have a feeling we're probably gonna get ambushed anyway. It's fine. It's no big deal. And then we'll do tactics. Where is it? Tactics. Yeah. And now the question is, do I want to do clean guns to boost his damage, or do I want to do snakeskin? I think I'd rather do snakeskin, honestly, right now. I think can't be marked. Adders and I wonder how that would work with um, reposting with the with the man at arms reposting specifically. I don't know. I'm not going to bother. I'm I'm not interested in testing it out right now. I'm going to go for the snakeskin though. No. Okay, fine. I was really hoping for Nightmare there. Guess we're just not getting the luck this time. It's like a 50% chance, I think, to, to get the Nightmare to happen. So it's not like it's a guarantee every time you camp with a Shield Breaker. Which is kind of unfortunate, because I was really hoping to, you know be able to get these nightmares out of the way. Uh, I don't like how this is starting. That's not great. I know these things have high blight resist, but I still want to go for it for the crit. Okay. I didn't even need to crit. I just beat the crap out of it with a huge amount of damage. Okay. That's fine. Oh, I didn't even realize that there was the guy in the back. I'm dumb and terrible at this game. Oh boy. Here we go. Okay. Stress is not good. You're all gonna go before me, that's fine. Okay. Where are my bandages? Might as well start using them, right? Hmm. I don't think I want to mark myself. I hate to say it. Can't even hit you. Actually, I could have totally hit him with the crush attack. I'm just bad at this game. Probably should have gone for a different attack there, quite frankly. Eh, I'm not gonna get it, I know. I probably should have just healed the man at arms there. You haven't dodged a single attack. My shield breaker. Like, your dodge is not that low. I don't understand how she keeps not dodging. Especially with the boost from both bolster and tactics. Like, she should be dodging. At least a couple attacks every so often. Okay, we're gonna grape shot. I don't care that the other one's dodged. I should have probably just attacked the, uh, the one in the back anyway. Whatever. Oh, God. Good dodge. Why are you going last so often? Your speed's not that low. I don't understand this game sometimes. <sighs> okay. Yeah, of course. Mm. Does it even matter? Probably not. That's fine. Uh, I guess I might as well just... Fine, that's fine. Okay, and we have no space or inventory for any of this, except for some money. My second emerald. Just gonna leave it. Just gonna leave it. It's all fine. It's all good. I didn't go back for the fish carcass, because I'm an idiot. 
Oh well. Okay. It's too late at this point. I, I am too uninterested in going back. It's not like I could have carried anything from there anyway. It's not like I can carry anything from here. I have no space. You know, hold on a second. Uh, where are we ally-wise? No. I'll just use two torches when I get up to this room. Then we'll have one more space. Or we will once I actually reorganize everything again. <clears throat> Excuse me. God. <clears throat> I don't like where this is going. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to leave the tracking shot behind for now. That thing cannot survive. Can you get rid of this? Why did I bother? I should have just healed. Why is my shield breaker going last so often? Her speed's not that low. Her speed's nine. I don't get it. I simply do not understand this game sometimes. Okay, that's not good. We're going to have to break that guard. If I get a chance to go, that is. Oh, I got to go. Thank you. Break guard. Can I do that with you? I'll take it. Okay. Now we can tracking shot, even though it doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, sure. Okay, we need to heal. I forget who. I mean, the answer is everyone always, but... Why do I bother marking? Hey, this thing didn't crit for once. Okay, can we get rid of this thing, please? Thank you. I'm going to try to stun this thing just because I really need to have a turn where I'm not uh, getting critted every five seconds. <coughs> Excuse me. God damn, I really need to stop eating before... I start recording anything. I do this like every time. And I shouldn't. Because I always end up having to clear my throat 800,000 times over the course of a recording session. I'm sorry I'm not particularly like enthusiastic or happy or anything. It's just been kind of a crap everything. And I don't really know what to say about that. Just... It's been kind of a crap morning. And I just... I'm tired of stuff. I should have just pierced. Oh, it's gonna die anyway from blight. I should have just I should have focus healed the man at arms because he took nine billion damage from that one crit. We're getting a lot of blood. And I can't carry any of it. Alright. Is it unlocked? It's unlocked. Oh look, I can't carry anything. What a surprise. Oh, you know what? I was dumb, because they didn't... I forgot. Okay, I said I was going to leave this room behind, and especially because we didn't get a scout, I'm definitely leaving it behind. Okay, map? Hmm. Where are we at? 82. Just for precaution's sake. Probably not necessary. Uh, I'll take the money instead of the eight crests. I know I could use the eight crests for other things, but I just don't feel like doing it right now. Wow, no fight. Okay, what's down here? So there's a fight I can avoid over here. That's great. Okay, I need to look at this map for a second. So there are two curios. There's that. There's another fight right there. Uh, I would like to clear out this little section down here, a sort of vestigial tail of this map. And, yeah, okay, let's just go this way. I don't think I have anything that requires, needs to be removed, right? Oh, you have 
Oh, never mind. A bunch of you have issues. Okay. No, we don't need that. Removed witness. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter which one of them we remove something from. Let's just remove something from you, I guess. Wherever did my... There they are. Okay. Cool. Alright, I'll take a torch. I'll immediately use it too, I suppose. Okay. We're still fine. Maybe we're not so fine. Okay. I know I should probably, you know, I, I think we need to... We need to focus this thing down. I'm not leaving it alive. Okay, good. Okay. You still need to be healed, so let's do that. Still hasn't dodged an attack yet. Okay, we're breaking that guard as soon as I possibly can. Also, that's really bad because now this thing is going to start spearfishing, and that's not good at all. Oh boy, we need to get rid of... Okay. Great. It's really helping to get rid of that thing. I don't think I can knock this thing out. I know it has 5 HP, but I don't think it's going to happen. Alrighty then. And I have no laudanum. Okay. Please get rid... Oh, he's not, he's not in the back row anymore. Okay, that's fine. Don't care. Kill him anyway. Be gone with him. Hmm. Don't really have a good option here because you're guarding. I guess we'll just knock him out or stun him at least. Try to stun it. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to start. Hmm, I don't know what to get rid of here. This thing, I guess. Try to anyway. Okay, who needs healing? I know the answer is everyone, but... More so the shield breaker than anybody else, I suppose. This probably isn't going to do much, but... No, it didn't. Okay. Okay. Let's see if I can... What's this thing's blight resist? Actually very low. Let's try for it. Oh, it's not even close to death. Jeez, I didn't realize how much HP it still had. I forget how much HP these things have. Like, they're like, they're like mini, mini bosses. You know, like, any, any enemy like this with, like, more than 50 HP just makes the game drag. So much. Especially because, you know, these things have, like, really high dodge and... There, finally. Okay. They're just a big pain in the ass. That's all. That's all I've got to say about that. I mean, it doesn't really matter what we do here, does it? Expose? No. Just pierce, I guess. Does this thing still has 15 more HP? Why they? Why? Why? Every time. I can't take any of this anyway if I wanted to, right? What did I take? I took money, I guess. Okay. Eldritch Altar. Okay, I'm gonna... What does that one do again? Does that remove? Or is that a... I can't tell what that is. 
I can't remember what this one does. I'm sorry. I'm really bad at remembering these things. I just don't remember which one is which. We'll just try this. If it's a cork removal, great. It was a cork removal. Okay. So we have our benefits for one more battle, right? Why are we still stressed with horror? It feels like it's been going on for like six turns. All right. Okay, well, this thing's on the front for once. So I guess that's a good thing. I don't know. Start whittling it away. Okay. I know I should have probably gone to kill the um, snail first, but whatever. Okay. No, we need to heal you. Because you keep getting targeted and critted constantly. Okay. I think that's her first dodge. I say that, and then she immediately gets hit by the snail, which is notoriously inaccurate. I did not mean to target the snail. I thought my mouse cursor was hovering enough over the ghoul that I would attack it, but no, it turns out that's not, it's not the case. Back to the pit. Okay. I was gonna say, we just got done with horror, now you're gonna put more on there. Thankfully, no. Not this time. Okay. I know I sh... No, I'm just gonna go for the... I should probably go for the stun. I know I should. But I also would like to use an Adder's Kiss on this thing. But of course it's going to go before me. What is its Blight Resist? Pretty bad. Okay, that's fine. It's honestly probably not worth it to go for that. Considering, like... I don't know. Considering everything, I guess. Really. Great. At least it didn't stun. I don't want to kill this thing yet. Thank you. I just wanted to be able to let my Vestal heal herself. Also, I didn't realize my Vestal went to such high stress levels, and I don't know when that happened. Size alone does not the blade. Okay, whatever. Sapphire, huh? Victory. But a victory nonetheless. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I'm not really in here for money, so I guess I'm just going to leave it all behind. Just forget about it. Okay. No, we didn't walk by it. Sorry. I thought we walked by this item already. How oh, good. Two food and money that I can't take. Most of it I can't take. It's my third emerald, I think. Possibly fourth. I don't remember. I'm not paying very close attention, obviously. Let's see if we get a scout here. Nope. Okay. I don't want to go down this area blind, but if I have to, I guess I will. Maybe I should just camp again. Just say, screw it. Be done with it. We've lost our benefits. We might as well. Okay. Let's do the same thing, I guess. Uh, oops. That's not who I... I mean, that's fine. I was going to use tactics anyway, but like... Okay. Let's just go ahead and do the same thing we did last time. Snake skin's fine. Do we get? Okay, we got it this time. The path is clear. Okay, that is a very, very large. Those are those are two very, very large snakes. Are these the same thing? Yeah, yeah it is. Okay, nightmarish adder. So, what do you? I don't remember what these things do. I don't. I don't know. Who am I kidding? I don't know what any of this stuff is. It's fine. Okay, let's start with the tracking shot. Well, these things have a lot of HP. Okay. What's their stun resist? Pretty high. Don't think I'm going to get a stun with either of these. I'll give it a try, but I think the Sacred Scroll lowers or lowers my stun, stun chance anyway, so 
It's probably not worth it. These things have probably have really high bleed, high blight resist, right? Yeah. Okay. That's not a good start. That is a very not good start. Oh, it's a stun. I get, uh, Jesus Christ, that's so much damage. Okay. Okay. Where do things dodge chances? 26? Yeesh. Alright. I'm gonna try to focus one of them down at a time. Okay, so that was a blight attack. Okay, good to know. I wasn't 100% sure. Okay. Hmm. Could have been better. Okay. I probably shouldn't be doing this. But I don't know what else to do here. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that Adder's Kiss probably won't blight. I'm just going to keep going for that. Pierce. Okay. Molt. That's a heal. Wow, that's a big heal. So it's a big heal and a damage buff. I don't think I'm going to be able to stun these things, but I'm going to try... Okay, never mind then. Just never mind. Just never mind anything here. Okay, now it's back to where it was before. Jeez, these low damage rolls are just going to be the death of me. Alright, fine, let's try another stun. Well, there's my main damage dealer out for the next round. Oh, never mind, my next two, my two main damage dealers out for the next round. Wonderful. I know I'm not reposting, but dude, come on. Oh, God! Stop hitting me for so much damage. Oh my God. You're gonna heal. You healed again. I'm never gonna kill these things. Please let me get rid of one of them. Okay, you've missed your last three attacks, and I'm starting to get tired of your bullshit, game. Thank God. Jesus Christ. A friggin' nightmare. I know, I know, it's an actual nightmare. Shut up. Oh, come on, he has... He had stun resist. What's the chance... Okay, maybe he didn't. I don't... I don't know. I'm pretty sure he should have had the extra stun resist. Also, good god. 81 freaking stress. Ridiculous. And that's with me doing everything I possibly could to mitigate the stress. Outside of giving her a book of sanity to go along with her other stress reducing item. This thing is never going to die. I'm just going to go for stuns on this thing until I stun it. Oh, for once it didn't damage me for 8 billion damage. How nice. Thank you, game. <sighs> How much were you blighted for? Four. That's not terrible, but I'm still going to go ahead and just use one of these. Be done with it. Hey, you hit something. Good job. You're not a complete and utter failure. Okay. I don't care. What is... what? Oh, God. Portraits. What is this? Severed Hand. Wonderful. Okay, plus 50% Blight Resist, minus 10% Stress. That would have been nice to have during this fight. 
Okay, we're taking that, obviously. That's the entire reason I'm going through this. He just scales now. I'll take the portraits, though. Fierce protection. If I just use this now, it'll happen. Minus 33% stress, plus 3. Is that a quest thing? No. Minus 15% stress from the quest. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, what if I... Okay, hold on. Let me look at what your benefits are right now. So you have dodge, crit, and minus 15% stress. If I use that... I don't know what that did. It didn't seem to do anything. Okay, then. All right. Well, we're going to have some problems. Right quick. Seeing as how two of our characters have pretty high stress, I really... The hell even? Why are these showing up now? I thought we... Oh, it's a block. That's what the Aegis scales are. Okay. Now I know. But why are these things showing up now? I don't want to fight these things. Ever. That was the entire reason why I did this, was so I never had to fight these things again. And now I have to fight them more? <sighs> I have, like, nothing I can do here. I really should have brought a character that, that causes, or that lowers stress. It was dumb of me not to do that. Okay. What do I do? I don't know what to do. 47 HP? Okay. We got one of them. That's as much as I can ask for, I guess. So you're going to be reposting. Infuse. I'm guessing that was going to be a blight. Well, at least you blocked. Oh, you're still bleeding, though. Oh, it's a bleed, okay. Okay. You're guarded by that thing, so I'm not going to do that. Oh, jeez. So you're reposting, you're not. I don't want to do the guard thing because I'm worried that I'll get reposted by this thing. So let's attack the one in the middle that hasn't done anything yet. Okay. Good. Really should have used a um, bandage on the shield breaker. That's my mistake. Okay, good. So the guard's broken. All right. So we're going to use both a bandage and an anti-venom on the shield breaker next turn. Okay, what do we want to do here? This thing only has 23 HP. I'm going to try to get rid of it as quickly as I can. God, 12 damage over time. Insane. Absolutely insane. Alright, let's get rid of this thing, please. I didn't, that just barely got rid of that thing. Jeez. Alright, let's bandage you up too, I guess. I don't even know if it's worth it to repost at this point. Okay, we need to heal you since you took 800 quadrillion damage. That's fine. Whatever. Okay. I still need to heal. No, I need to heal the man at arms now. Okay. Guess it doesn't really matter what we do there. Oh, where you just scales. Okay, that's fine. More portraits is also great. 
I'm just gonna keep giving the Aegis skills to the Shield Breaker because she keeps getting attacked constantly. Okay. So any sort of treasure things I'll probably leave behind when I go through this area. And no scout. I'm going to call this episode here. Because this, this game is pushing all of my buttons already. And we still got a long way to go in this dungeon. So, thank you everybody for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon. Please click the like button if you enjoyed the video. I'd be surprised if you did. And subscribe to the channel for more of this. Hopefully not me just bitching and moaning about the game. But it'll probably be like that for the next few episodes. So sorry about that in advance. And I will talk to you all next time.